simultaneous orgasm. Yes, yeah, so we have a young man wrote in, 19, and he wants to know how important is a simultaneous orgasm. Well, in my ancient age, in my... How gen- many have you had? Yeah, I, well, I, you know, I maybe could count them on... Both hands. Yeah. And a lifetime of fucking. <laughs> really, a lot of, a lot of, you know, free form sex with thousands of people. Uh, I only had them with people that I was dating consistently. And yeah. in love, whatever that is. The romance. Yeah, very much. And then once it happens, it's like, <gasps> You chase it. You want it every time. And forget it. I remember when it first happened with Grant. Both of them, we just looked at each other like... That's what you do. You look at each other like, what wow. the hell was that? Look what we did. <laughs> and then, I mean, because he was really well read on sex, he said, look, forget trying for it. But that, I couldn't help it. The next time I was kind of in front of an orgasm and holding back. Waiting for him. Yeah. You That's can't time it. It just happens. That's the whole point. So how important is it? Not very important. No. It's spontaneous. You can't plan on it. No. You can't make it happen. Mm -mm. So focus on orgasm. If you just have an orgasm and share orgasms, that's enough. Plenty enough. Plenty enough. I mean, it's so difficult for women to come with a partner. (laughs) Thank you. At all. (laughs) That, you know, uh, coming at the same time is just, it's a blessing. It's beautiful. It's Mm -hmm. lovely. Some people claim that they can do it on a regular basis. Well, I mean, maybe if you get in the right rhythm and you get in the right head spice and you know, but for me, sex is so much more than just stimulating the body. It's also your emotions. It's their stress level. It's when's the last time you had sex, like it waxes and wanes. It's really hard, I think, to both be in the same place at the same time. And come at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so if it happens, bless it, love it, and don't plan on it. It's just not going to happen naturally. And don't marry someone who gave you three simultaneous orgasms in a row that's bad <laughs> I, trust me don't do it the simultaneous orgasm has nothing to do with whether or not this person is your destiny although you tend to think that way when it happens this must be it tell this- them about your one night stand where it happened <sighs> well it was ridiculous out of the blue you know we're having sex and uh, uh, we come at the same time, and I'm going, oh, my God. And, of course, he never called again. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, he couldn't live up to it. Come on, that's a lot to live up to. You can't do act two. He's never going to ever be better than that. You just walk away. Oh, well, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, George. <laughs> but i got to tell you, it's like, we all agree. It's Now, there there will be sex educators and therapists, and there are books, you know, like The Ultimate or whatever orgasm. Mind-blowing orgasm. Yeah. The, perfect they'll, orgasm. They'll tell you that you can do this on a regular basis, but trust me, it is not a project worth pursuing. It'll be nothing but frustration in the end. So just have an orgasm, that's all. It's any way, any time, anyhow, any place, under any circumstances. And I kind of like it when you're with a partner. And they have an orgasm, and you're not there yet, so now you can jump on top and take the lead sexually, and then you have an orgasm, and then now they've built up enough sex energy. that They'll now go they again. Go again. It's kind of nice not having it sink and end at the same time, because yeah. it extends play. Yeah. That's, that's good. So, for our questioner, don't plan on it. Don't go for it. If it happens, it's great. <laughs>